you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Human New Guys. And today, I'm gonna do a little quick market talk for you guys. It is the day before Halloween, which means that the players are now in rage, which I want to see how that affects the market. I'm pretty curious to see that. As you guys can see, I'm going to show you guys. If you guys haven't watched my content video, you should go watch that already. You should have seen it already if you're a loyal fan, right? But they're already in rage. They're high in overall. I want to see how this impacts the market, how people are really attacking it. Maybe things go up because people just aren't touching the market while they have these players. Maybe people are selling things because they want to pick up some of those cards that are still on the block before they get off. Obviously, they're not sellable, but some people still posted them before it happens, so you can still buy them. So, I want to go check how this affected the whole market in just a second. But, like I guess if you haven't already, go watch the content video. They did drop a limited time Calais Campbell today. And they did drop all the enraged stats and everything. So, make sure you go check that out. But, before we get into the video, boys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Come join the family. Boys, we're at 11k. You guys have been killing it. Let's go for 12k next. And let's aim for 20k as our next big milestone. I'm super hyped for that. But, comment down below what you guys think of the market right now. Like, while you're watching this video, I imagine you guys are probably looking at it. Let me know what you guys think. Or if you're in school, same thing. That's fine. Don't worry about it. And also give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 250 likes. You guys have been killing it. Keep it coming, boys. All right, let's go over to the market. Auctions and trades. Auction house. Let's see what we got. We always start off with the 80 80 ones, but, 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 I doubt they're going to be too, too hot right now. It all depends on how people are viewing this. 80 to 80 ones, they are at 8K. Yeah, these are really hard to move. This just, it's so stockpiled with mud heroes and like, Basically, you can't find anything in here. The new DK Metcalfs right here. Pretty beastly, guys. Budget beast right there if you guys want them. All right, let's go over to the 82. Let's get out of that. Let's get out of that range. We already know it's gonna be it's stockpile right there. There's too many of them. All right, next we got Trey Herndon. We got these guys. So 14k for the 82s. Again, I don't really care for the low overalls anymore. I mean, I feel like most of you guys can't use them, and even if you could use them, it's very rare you can. And at this price, you you can get higher overall players for slightly more. And these guys aren't really that useful and they're just so like there's just so many of them i don't know like there's just these filters have been destroyed by all these guys that have been dropped all these promo guys and not many of them are that good i mean there's some budget piece like trey herndon's really fast james washington's really fast a few guys here are kind of useful but like not like you should go out of your way for these guys but like if you happen to have them they're not horrible i don't really know again not going to really evaluate these lower eyes because i feel like they're not that useful now getting over to the 84 to 85s let's see 26k a few good guys that are pretty cheaper like jamal adams obviously lat murray is probably pretty good he's pretty decent but the point of this is here the 86 84 to 85s would i recommend them i mean yeah they're pretty cheap and all but i just said like you can get so much better for this coinage i feel like obviously they're cheap 25k is really cheap the 84s are obviously down a little bit but for this coin you can really go to like 40 50k if you want to push it and really get some great cards Let's see where the 85 is sitting now. Let's go to Veterans. That's how I like to filter that one out. It's usually the best route to go for that one. They're at 27k for the 84s, 34k for the 85s. I think the 85s are actually up a little bit. I believe those are cheaper at a point. Let's go check out the 86 to 87s and see what we're rocking with. So 86 to 87s. Let's see where they start. They start at 49k, which I don't believe is right. Let's go to Scala. So sort by Veterans. Yeah, it's way up there, isn't it? All right, Veterans. 49k is what it's saying. I guess so. Are there 87s? 87s. 62k for the 87s. Quite honestly, that's still pretty cheap for an 87 overall. If you guys don't already know, 87 used to be like 100k, so that is much, much cheaper than usual. Actually, 60k right there. Let's see at the Legends, what they're looking like in price. Legends are typically a little bit cheaper, yeah. 46k for an 86, and what are the 87s looking like? Where are they? 58k, 58k. Yeah, they're, they're a little cheaper. All these Legend set pieces right here. 86, 87s are honestly a good value, not horrible at all, but I'm more interested in the higher tiers because obviously there's a lot of coins to be made from those higher tiers. Let's head over to the 88 to 89s. So starting off here, 88k, obviously training is very, very cheap at this point. Let's see what flashbacks looking like because flashbacks typically fill these out a little bit better. 85k, so yeah, flashbacks are pretty cheap, but not many people really care for flashbacks. I mean, they're more of a training value in my eyes, but obviously uh, 85s are really cheap i've seen them even in the 70k range so they're not the cheapest they've ever been but they're definitely not the least expensive i should say i mean they're definitely not ex the most expensive and andrew sandejo 88 yeah there's only one veteran card that actually makes the 88 range so it's not gonna really help the uh point i'm trying to make here let's see the legends 88 okay so they're all sitting around the same price for the most part 
What are 89s at? 89s are 117, 117. Yeah, 89s are really cheap. Like I said, training's gonna be at one of the lowest points it's been in a while. It's not the lowest because the market hasn't crashed significantly. Like it's crashing obviously, but it's not like dead dead. That'll probably come like after series three when the Thanksgiving promo around, then then it'll probably come down a ton more. But obviously, the the whole bats, no, nothing really came out of bats and stuff. So you never really saw that big drop that we could have seen, which really has kind of sucked. Um But let's go see what let's filter this out by one more thing. Let's see. Is there most feared cards in this range? There should be, right? Yeah, okay, so these guys are obviously enraged. So, like I was trying to say, so the enraged cards that were posted before the uh, auction blocked them from being posted are still definitely here. But the issue is, is that they are going to be overpriced because people anticipated that they'd be this overall. So, I mean, if you really want to play with them for two days, you could overpay a little bit. Would I recommend it? Probably not. But you definitely could buy them. Like I said, hmm, is it worth it? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, obviously, the stats are insane right here for a strong safety. But... Is it worth losing the extra coins up to you? Do you really need to play with them for the next year? If they're usable in Weekend League, maybe it's worth it. Like, obviously, this Casey Hayward's really, really good. Let's see this Brian Winters. Brian, yeah, Brian Winters actually isn't that great. He's all right. Let's see Marks Mariota. What's his speed? 90 speed on Mariota. Okay, Mariota's kind of a beast. Mariota's kind of a beast. He might actually be worth it for a little bit. Although, remember, guys, I mean, I don't recommend it. Like, you have to have a ton of coins you don't care about and you just want to win some Weekend League games. Obviously, it's never worth it to overpay for a car by, like, 40K. But... I'm just saying. It's Jonathan Allen right here. It looks pretty decent right here. Good power move, good strength, good play rec. Only his block show is a little bit higher. Are there any other cards in this range that I can look at? Anything else? Oh, Jason Peters. Left tackle. Pretty awesome for a left tackle. Honestly, really good stats. But that wraps up the 88s, 89s. Let's keep moving on to the next set. And I'll obviously show you guys the enraged stats too, because those are obviously still around for the higher overalls. 90s to 91s. There we go. All right, so let's go check out the Mud Heroes. These have typically been the cheapest. I think the Mud Hero craze is dying down now. They were really cheap when uh, everyone got their training, but obviously as time goes on, they're gonna come back up. So 165, yeah, the market's kind of stagnant. It's obviously down a lot, but it hasn't went any more down. It hasn't came any more up. It's kind of just like, it's kind of like chilling right now, to be honest with you guys. Let's see where Ramsey's at. Oh, Ramsey's at like 250. I did buy him for about 185, so that's still a really good value for me. Saquon, 315. Is that really what Saquon's going for right now? Saquon's that expensive? I don't know. Obviously, you'd have to filter it out, but I don't think people really care about Mud Heroes anymore. Let's go check out the Legends. So, base Legends, 160, 168. There's still... The market's still crashed, but it's not, like... It's just not that cheap. It's, like, not super cheap, but it's not expensive. It's, like, somewhere between, like, Mega Crash and just Stagnant. It's somewhere right between there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nothing too crazy. In my opinion, what I'd be doing is I'd be waiting. Wait for this Legend Saturday. Wait for the Series 3 update. Wait for the Redux cards. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for all of that to go go about seeing what I want to do with my team from there on out. I picked up my most of your players. I'm obviously keeping Ray Lewis, Ward, Frederick. And then that's all I'm keeping from this promo. And then I'm going to go into Thanksgiving with some coins. Try to get some cards from there. Now, let's head on over to the 90, 92s and 93s. That's probably where I end this. So, 92s and 93s. We're obviously going to get a ton of these cards. These are all the most feared cards that are up right now. They're obviously way up in price because people are able to sell them for more because they're overall. What I recommend buying these, Cam Newton's kind of a beast, kind of looking like a beast. Let's see what his, let's see what his ball carrier stats are. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Trucking 87, ball carrier vision 99, stiff arm 88, spin move 80, juke move 95, 85. Let's see what his, what was his carrying? 75, okay, this card's okay. Pretty, pretty good. Now, guys like Ray Lewis is obviously really expensive because He's like one of the best ones. He's honestly kind of a beat. He's really, he's really, really good. This card's gonna be insane what you have. And remember, these are also much, much taller and stronger too, so that also does help. Denzel Ward is a monster. He's like a 97 speed. Would I recommend buying any of them? Uh, not really. I don't think I'd waste my coins on these. Like the lower ones are a lot cheaper. These guys, like you will take a hit and you will take a loss. Like all the profit I said you could make by holding these, you're gonna lose all that by going in this route. So I'd probably just wait. Oh, Thomas. Oh my God, oh, Thomas is a monster. 99 zone, 90 hit power, 91 speed, 80. Eight feet tall. Because Earl Thomas is going to be a monster. But the last thing, guys, you want to be staying on top of coming as uh, Friday when the series drops. The Redux cards. It's appearing like we're going to be getting a ton of Redux cards. Remember that we're going to get like read a lot of Redux my 10 cards, a lot of Redux LTD cards. So stay on the lookout for all those cards. Obviously, those are going to affect the market. And I'm going to be able to finally pick up some of the time cards that I have not been able to pick up. But guys, this is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. 
and come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of the market and give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes. You guys have been killing it with the support lately. Thank you so much for all of that. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully I can get another video for you guys. I'm a little tight in the schedule right now. I have two for you guys. I'm gonna see if I can get a third. That's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.